Just reflecting back to the EU referendum campaign and frankly the disgusting and vile videos that were often put out by Leave.eu, uh, some of the statements put out by leaving, uh, lead, uh, Leave politicians, to what extent do you think uh, the Leave groups and some of the leading Leave politician campaigners bear responsibility for uh, emboldening the groups that you talk about or the people that you talk about in expressing views in ways that they had not before? Um, I think I'd answer that by saying that if you look at... Um, there was a deliberate strategy by um, Aaron Banks's group to use um, emotion to deliberately um, highlight immigration, sovereignty, nationality as a tool to wind people up. Now obviously for the vast majority of people that was just about voting in, 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 in the referendum. But I think that there was a deliberate attempt to toxify the, the debate and in a way quite a contentious debate about identity as well. It made it even worse and I, I, I do think that there was a deliberate strategy here, not to encourage attacks on the street but in a sense of that, that, that was one of the kind of constitutions. I mean I have to say Nigel Farage and Alan Banks have form in this if you look yes. at over several years. Yeah. They deliberately lie about statistics to wind people up.